You wanna meet up on the rooftop after school, yeah? Rooftop? What is this about? Oh yeah, you weren't there. Well, I mean, you say he wasn't there, but it was a text message conversation. Did he not read back through the texts he missed later? Or did we remove him from the group chat for that specific conversation? Can you come to our school rooftop after your classes today? I don't quite understand what's going on, but sure. Is Haru at school? I'm heading over now. Things were a little hectic this morning. I'll be there before class is in for the day. That reminds me, your flower bed is on the rooftop. Flower bed? That's right. The season is good, so I'm thinking of transplanting some of them soon. Flowers are an excellent hobby, and I will gladly assist you. We'll help too. Really? Thanks. All right, I'll see you all after school. So you're the one who grew these, senpai. <laughs> you can just call me Haru. The seasons are changing soon, so I thought it'd be nice for the plants to change as well. This time, it's a Yusuke Kitagawa production. All I did was add some... how do I put it? Aesthetic simplicity by balancing the color placement. Furthermore, Haru chose the flowers herself. It will surely be a great bed no matter the arrangement. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Why don't we plant you, Mona? Weren't you a shut-in until just recently? You'd better photosynthesize while you're here. Well, let's get started. Perhaps the snapdragon should go two more millimeters to the left. That's not gonna make a difference. Hey, you know how we're thinking of the school festival as our celebration party? Anyone else think we should have a real celebration on top of that? I must agree. It would be not only a celebration, but a welcoming as well. I'd like to do something among ourselves. Let's do it then! A joint party to celebrate and to welcome Haru! Oh, you don't have to do that. The school festival is more than enough. How is everyone else supposed to get excited if the star of the party's not into it? Well then, how about a night party at Destinyland? By Destiny Land, do you mean that Kingdom of Dreams? Okay, it does happen now, that's what I thought. It would be a bit late, but there are some plans that allow us to rent out the park for the night. The entire park? You're talking about THE Destiny Land, right? Didn't you say you'd like to do something amongst ourselves? I did, but... Hold on, I'll go check. She really thinks like a celebrity. The heck's she gonna check? Guys, it looks like it will work. We're really gonna have it at Destiny Land? Not like one of the restaurants, but the entire park? Even just for one night, the price is insane. Oh, that won't be a problem. We had originally booked it for a company party, then had to call it off because of the scandal. We'd barely get anything back if we cancel the reservation, so why not take advantage of it? Wouldn't that be oddly conspicuous, though? It's still officially under the company's name. We needn't worry. In that case, let's do this! We'll just celebrate twice as hard today! I'm sorry for disrupting everyone. You did come to help me after all. Well, let's get back to it. Does anyone else see how whack this is? We booked it for a company party, had to call it off because of the scandal. The scandal is that you, like, treat your employees poorly and whatnot? Don't you think calling off the whole, like, what you should have done is the whole Destiny Land thing? You should have sent a bunch of your employees on it. You should have been like, hey, if you, like, have an official Okumura employee ID, you get into Destiny Land for free today. Or whatever, like that would be great PR. Why would why would you you're having bad PR so you cancel your opportunity to generate good PR? Hello? Am I the only one missing something here? So uh, seriously, how much does it cost? For real? That was delicious. The food was arranged on my plate as though it were paint on a canvas. The staff brought out this table and food just for us, huh? 
Are they really doing fireworks right now when it's rented out for like eight people? I thought if we were going to dine together, it would be better to do it somewhere with a view. The VIP life is incredible. Not that I'd expect anything else from a private rental. There really is no one else here. We are the rulers of the Kingdom of Dreams. Is this lighting just for our sake as well? That's right. It's beautiful. It's not as beautiful as you. That's the kind of stuff couples say, right? <laughs> Almost anyone would fall for that line in front of a site like this. Lady On, this view is not as beautiful as... This stupid cat, man. Come on, you guys are getting way too excited about this stuff. Uh, you say that like you're not tapping into your inner child too, Ryuji. This is just because Futaba kept nagging me to put him on. I did not. You said something like that. Ryuji, you're the adult here. <laughs> He's really not. They're all children. When it comes to this bickering. Fighting does bring you closer, if Naruto has taught me anything. That's a good way of putting it. I wonder if that has to do with where we are. <laughs> My, this is so heartwarming. Honestly, I would have liked to see the parade as well. But given how sudden the request was, they couldn't get enough staff together to do it. Perhaps that will have to wait until next time. Either way, this party's totally the best one so far. It's freaking amazing! I'm glad to see you're enjoying it. Be careful, Haru. You've shown these guys what luxury means. This'll really raise the bar for our next celebration party. You're already talking about our next party? Don't you think that's somewhat premature? <laughs> see you <laughs> later. And that party will be for me! Still, how do I put this? I met Mona-chan. I got to know you all. Isn't everything going a little too perfectly? It's actually a bit frightening. You worry too much. It's not like everybody's kung fu fighting or moving fast as lightning or anything. We're fine. I must just be overly cautious because of my circumstances up till recently. I'm sorry for bringing it up. Hey, isn't it almost time? You know, for the press conference? Oh, perfect timing! Father... Thank you all for taking time out of your busy schedules to gather here. Today, I'd like to elaborate upon the whole truth behind my company's labor situation. How my employees were forced to work under severe conditions. How lax we were with sanitation. And how my corporation acted as a whole to cover up every facet of this scandal. For all of this, I wholeheartedly apologize. So are you saying all of this was done under your orders? Get obliterated, son. Yes, I am solely responsible. We heard that dozens of your employees were forced to resign due to mysterious illness. Furthermore, these happened to be officials who stood against your proposal for overseas expansion. The same thing also happened to executives at competing companies who were looking to expand abroad. Is all of this true? Yes. Was it all coincidence? We'd like some answers about that. I have a critical piece of information to announce here today. Here it comes. Okuma is going to say who's really behind the mental shutdowns. I... Kumura-san?
Happy dog! Happy dog! Huh? F father? Why you guys really uh, screwed the pooch on this change of heart, huh? Why did he collapse? That was more than just collapsing. That didn't look right at all. <sighs> Don't tell me. Monachan, what's going on? No, that's impossible. What happened? I want to know that myself. We made sure we just took the treasure too. I should call home. This, this isn't our fault, is it? It's been okay all four times so far, ever since Kamoshida. If we let the shadow live, the real person won't undergo mental shutdown, right? That's how it should work. Yeah, it's gotta be. <sighs> What's wrong? Th this is the same. I remember now. It's just like what happened to my mom. I can't believe you still have these stupid ears and hat on during this conversation. So this is the moment when mental shutdown occurs. But why did they target Okumura-san? Damn it! What the hell's going on here? Um... I have to go. I'll talk to the staff before I leave. Feel free to take your time. Haru! This ain't our fault, right? I'd like to think so. Some welcoming party, huh? I'll get in contact with Haru later. But for today, I think we should all return home. It's been a while. What are you watching? That's... This is just a hypothesis. Wow, that's, uh... Robbie Damon with, like, the gagging noise there. That was good. But perhaps Okumura was bitten by his lapdog. Are you implying that the Phantom Thieves triggered a sudden mental shutdown on Okumura? There might have been a falling out of sorts, so the Phantom Thieves abandoned a useless employer. And to cover their tracks, they dealt with Okumura. I hate to bring this up, but I'm actually here about that. Did you find any evidence? No. Actually, there's a chance that the party behind these aren't the Phantom Thieves, but someone else. How do you mean? You were suspecting the Phantom Thieves as well. It is still hypothetical at this point, but I don't want to rule it out. We're searching the Okumura residence tomorrow. Same with Shujin and its principal. We will find evidence on this, no matter what it takes. By the way, I wanted to ask you something. Yes? You haven't looked at my laptop or taken files from it without my permission, have you? That's quite out of the blue. There were traces that someone transferred data from it. It was only a small error pop-up, but I noticed it immediately after I had that argument with you last month. And that's why you suspect me? Oh, please, give me a break. Are you saying you didn't? As a detective myself, I honor the value of information, as well as the effort invested in it. I take pride in what I do. I thought you of all people would understand such values, sai -san. I apologize. But then, who stole my data? <sighs> I let my guard down. They're mine. I'm the one who will catch them. Did you see the news? Did you see? He collapsed during the interview. This is serious. That was gruesome. Wish they put some sort of warning on the video. <laughs> Watch, you know. They said President Okumura died. That's crazy. Really? Whoa, you're right. I just saw a news report about it. The news would never lie. So about Haru's dad, ah, uh, the news said it was a cardiac arrest. There's a chance he'll pull through, right? I hate to say this, but usually after such a report, the only thing that follows is a confirmation of death. No, Haru, why is this happening? Can someone die simply from having a mental shutdown? I don't know. I suppose it's possible that the shot could kill a person. Haru did mention how her father wasn't in the best of health, but for him to just up and die? This has got to be some kind of joke. Are we responsible for his death? 
But I thought it was supposed to be fine as long as we didn't kill their shadow. Ain't that what you said, Morgana? It should have been okay. It should have been. He says it should have been okay. Yeah, there's no point for getting mad at Mono for this. I heard the same thing too, you know? In any case, let's compose ourselves for now. We need to act normally in public. But keep Haru in our minds. Damn it, this doesn't make any sense. Why he suffered a mental shutdown is one thing, but what are we supposed to do from here on out? Honorably surrender? <sighs> Haru's gonna be fine, right? Yeah, probably. Nice. This is too dang healthy. Can I do anything tonight? Let's go to yeah. I figured you'd say that. Can I no. can I make anything? Nope. Alright. <sighs> Bedtime it is. Is it a velvet room night? Yep. On your feet, inmate. Our master has an important matter to discuss with you. Heed his words well. First, I'd like to congratulate you for expelling the one proud of their greed. Or so I'd like to say, but something odd seems to have happened. What, what happened, bro? Who knows? However, don't you sense it? The malicious will of another. It seems a contingency has occurred. At this rate, your rehabilitation cannot be completed, though I doubt that will be the case. I truly look forward to seeing how you overcome this predicament. Oh dang, rank 9. When do you hit rank 10? I don't think it's till December. All right. We shall meet again. Time's up, inmate. Hurry up and return to your world. Oh no. My points! Is that true? My popularity! Did you hear? Okumura died! It's all over the news. He collapsed during his press conference, right? I wish I'd been watching when it happened. You're probably better off. It was a total disaster. I never imagined seeing a heart attack would be so unsettling. The news says it was because of illness, but either way you spin it, still bizarre. Man, I wish I'd seen it live. Listen this time. And in okay. this age, proletarian literature, that is, literature written by the working class. Did you see that interview? I thought it was going to be some hidden camera show at first. I was so scared, I changed the channel. He really looked like he was in pain. That was sick. Will you quiet down? We're in class right now. Not to mention, you have midterms starting on Monday. Focus on studying. <sighs> Things are getting pretty bad. I gotta ace these exams to get a trophy, man. I think you get a trophy for it in this game. Or was that the original Persona 5? One or the other. It seems police have shown up at our school. The police? What for? Your sister hasn't told you about any of this? Nothing at all. Could this be related to Okumura's death in some way? But there's no connection between our school and Okumura Foods. Think they came to talk to Haru? She's absent today. Then seriously, what are they here for? I can't even begin to fathom the reason. Anyhow, let's be particularly careful and not to stand out. Not to stand out words. And head straight home once school ends. Understand that, everyone? <sighs> we haven't found anything useful as evidence. I see. Uh, we're hoping to find something more than the calling card, too. We've confirmed the victim's connection to the Phantom Thieves, at least. Thank you for your cooperation. Speaking, huh? They found a calling card in the principal's office, too. Yes. I'm sorry to ask again, but your father hadn't said anything about the Phantom Thieves, correct? That's right. Please contact me if something catches your attention. It doesn't matter how trivial it seems. You don't have to force yourself, though. Just anything that comes to mind. The principal? No one told me about that. 
things are getting sus.